Hey there, I'm Dr. Dave with USU Extension, and today's two-minute tip is all about gratitude. In numerous studies, this exercise has been shown to increase happiness and actually decrease depression. Now, at first, you may think this is hokey and old-fashioned, but it stems from some of positive psychology's most important findings. So you're going to first close your eyes. Now picture in your mind the face of someone still alive who years ago did something or said something that changed your life for the better. Someone who you never properly thanked. Someone you could meet face to face next week. Okay, you got a face? Now your task is to write a letter of gratitude to this individual and deliver it in person if, if possible. If not, you can read it over the phone or you can send it. The letter though should be about 300 words, be very specific about what he or she did for you and how it affected your life. Let the person know what you're doing now and mention how often you remember what they did. Once you've written the letter, call the person and tell them you'd like to visit, but be as vague as possible about the purpose of the meeting. This exercise is a lot more fun when it's a surprise. When you meet, take your time reading your letter out loud and then just watch and feel what happens. Something almost magical happens in our lives when we not only feel gratitude, but when we express it to others. Our relationships are strengthened and life has so much more meaning. So this exercise is all about taking the opportunity to experience what it's like to express your gratitude in a thoughtful, purposeful manner. And it even works for kids. That's all for now. I'm Dr. Dave with Utah State, sharing tips to make life great.